Some of you might not be old enough to remember this, but there was a time when every house had a landline phone with almost no features at all, not even a slot to hold extra answering machine tapes. But while modern smartphones have literally thousands of uses, for all the ways they've improved on traditional phones, there's one thing that for a long time they haven't done any better actually making phone calls. So you chumps who shelled out over $500 for a flagship smartphone are gonna sound like butt when you call your dad to wish him a happy what Father's want, Day. Son? So what's the deal with that? Thanks for asking, Jerry. Here's what happened. Reason number one for shoddy voice quality is interoperability, which no, it isn't. Which means that the powers that be, that is phone manufacturers and mobile service providers, wanted to make sure that your shiny new handset could communicate with your sister's old low bandwidth brick over the network, regardless of how they were connected. Number two, and I bet you college educated viewers saw this one coming, is cost. To put it simply, Upgrading for a clearer voice experience was a lower priority than focusing on faster data speeds for watching high definition video, fewer dead zones in their service areas, and of course massive profits to report to the shareholders, although arguably a lot of people would agree with at least the first two of those things. But you feed people gruel for breakfast and Kobe steak dinner for long enough and they start to ask why they can't have a whipped cream and strawberry crepe in the morning once in a while. So while LTE networks were developed primarily for the purpose of delivering faster data speeds, as they've become more common, carriers and handset makers have finally begun making serious progress on a new standard called HD Voice. What's that you ask? Well, HD Voice is a protocol that improves audio quality by capturing more of what you're saying. I mean, no, I don't mean that your phone had a short attention span before. What I mean to say is that it can capture a wider range of frequencies than was possible before. Older phones were good for somewhere in the range of 300 to 3400 hertz, but the human voice can actually make sounds from between 75 hertz and 1400 hertz, a huge range that covers the sensual crooning of Barry White oh, all the way to that horrible squealing noise I make whenever a new gadget arrives in the mail. So HD Voice uses the greater bandwidth of modern cell phone networks to catch everything you say between 50 and 7,000 hertz, making calls sound much more realistic. There's so much blood! This concept is similar to what you see in digital music recording. So if you're creating a you know, WAV file, for example, taking more samples of the singer or instrument instrument as it's playing per second results in more information ending up in the audio file, which up to a point means higher perceived quality. So if you're having a conversation over HD voice, your phone will actually sample your voice 16,000 times per second, slightly more than FM radio. Here's where it gets funny though. Remember those smug pants landline phones from before with their superior audio quality? Well, to use HD voice, both you and whomever you're chatting with need to be on devices and networks, so usually LTE, that support HD voice. So that call to your dad might sound crappy unless he's got a spanking new smartphone and a great mobile network anyway. But all of this is normal growing pains for new technology, and while HD voice isn't universal yet, as more users switch to new phones and networks, the day may eventually come when your incoming calls don't sound like they're from Alexander Graham Bell himself. And no, you didn't, sir. Speaking of history and learning, lynda.com. With a lynda.com membership, you can watch and learn from top experts who are passionate about streaming, teaching, well, both. They stream thousands of video courses on demand and you can learn on your own schedule at your own pace. You can browse course transcripts, you can watch on your computer, you can download and watch later on your mobile device, you can take notes as you go and refer to them later, although that shouldn't really be a selling point, you can take notes on anything as you go and refer to them later. That's learning, folks! You can create and save playlists of your courses and you can share with friends, colleagues, and team members, and this doesn't actually contain all the usual... Someone changed my script. It doesn't even say all the things you can learn. You can learn photography, you can learn business, you can learn things like uh, office productivity software. All good stuff, and it starts at a flat rate of just $25 per month. So whether you're looking to, you know, 
launch a new career or you're just really passionate about your video editing hobby or whatever the case may be, visit lynda.com slash techquickie to sign up for a free 10-day trial and try it out. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you thought it sucked. Leave a comment if you have suggestions for future fastest possible episodes. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and follow and all that good noise.